Hi everyone, it's Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for April 27th to May 3rd, 2015. Uh, we're going to use the Enchanted Map Deck by the lovely Colette Baron reed this week. A little bit different deck. Um, I love her decks. I have a couple of them and use them quite often as well. Mostly for personal readings, but I was drawn to use them this week for the, read the reading for the week. So let's see what they have to say. I've pulled three cards, so let's flip them over. So for our first card, we have Coming Apart. The second card is Deep Freeze. And our third card is Coming to Life. Now that is an interesting very interesting spread. So let me just connect and hear what they have to say. So going to the first card, they're showing me a seed and just a reminder that things sometimes need to fall apart before they can fall back together. Often we will hit rock bottom or maybe not to the bottom, but a disastrous time or a falling apart of time where things are just not seeming to go your way. And we're just reminded that even a seed has to break apart to come and grow and become something bigger. There's a saying about an acorn too, the acorn has to crack apart to become the mighty oak. We really have to honor that piece that things fall apart for a reason. And even though we are very attached to something or there's some security in something, we need to understand that there is a piece of moving forward with the falling apart that is happening. So then we go to card number two, which is deep freeze. So we need to know that sometimes when the falling apart happens, that it's important to honor that there needs to be a, a, a period or a moment of standstill. Understanding that sometimes it's not about taking action and fixing the falling apart. Sometimes it's really about sitting with what has happened and honoring that process of kind of going over things and understanding, but doing it with an open heart and an open mind, an open soul, because when we're really focused on the box and the outcome that we really want to happen, sometimes we can't see what's happening for what is really truly going on. We need to look at things in a way that have no outcome, that have kind of this going with the flow piece because when we can look at things that way we we are open to seeing things in a different light and in a different fashion instead of trying to fix it and put it back to the way that it was when we go into it with an open heart and open mind we can look at things in the way that they're supposed to be I was joking the other day at the yoga studio I was cleaning out candle holders and my hands were covered in wax and I said well to make, you know, lemonade out of lemons, I'm getting a wonderful paraffin wax treatment on my hands without having to go for a manicure. They're so soft. And yes, it was said with a wee bit of sarcasm, but at the same time, it was said with making light of what was going on and the mess that I was cleaning up, just so that things were beautified at the studio again. And eh, it was done soon enough, and I did have really soft hands at the end. So taking the time to honor what's gone on for you. Honor what's happening, what's falling apart, and honor the answers coming forward. We have so many answers that are deep within us if we just choose to reach down and get them. So they're really amplifying this for me and moving forward to the coming to life card at this point. So the universe and the angels, the guiding spirits, they're speaking about going within to find the answers which isn't always easy to do when we're in that coming apart phase or mm, sometimes in that deep freeze phase. But it's really important to quiet ourselves and to really go within. Is, you know, that job that fell through that you didn't get, is it really honoring who you are? Are the hours accommodating for your family? Is, you know, it really a moment of you honoring where you want to go in life? really honoring your situation. So taking the time to go within and really find the answers, that is when life is coming together. 
things are awakening within us. So it doesn't feel like a movement forward this week as much as it feels like a clarity. That is the best word I have for it. Really understand that by the end of this week that there is some big clarity coming. Bumpy start to the week, lots of clarity by the end of the week if we take the time to slow down and see it. Again, it's really important to slow down. I'm really iterating, I'm really, you know, focusing on this, iterating this, because in that deep freeze, if we choose to go into sadness and wallow and go into frustration and panic and stress and worry, those answers aren't going to come. We're going to be too focused on the negative emotions to allow them to flow through. So really important to slow yourself down and really take stock of what's happened. So I saw this little bump in the road um, earlier this week as I was setting up Facebook's posts for the week. The angels did show me that there was another bump coming early this week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, expect something. But here's the part. So like I said in my Facebook post, um, we really need to not focus on the fact that it's going to happen. We need to just focus on moving through life and going with the flow. And if we're not focused on something bad happening, it might not for you. It, just because there's a blip in the energy doesn't mean that it's going to affect everybody universally. It will only affect those that need to be affected by it. So the other part is, is when we focus on the negative, we bring negative forward. So when we focus on what is missing or um, what we really something negative that's happened to us or the knowledge that something negative is coming. Sometimes it's like focusing on like a doctor's appointment and fear of getting bad res test results from your blood work or something. When we focus on that, then we create more of that. A big one too is um, I get a lot of questions about relationships in my healing sessions and readings. And when we really focus on that lack of someone being there and how sad we are about being lonely, that's all we create and that's what we bring forward. So we really need to move forward in going with the flow and really focusing on what we want in our lives. That's going to shift things and change things for you. So I send you tons of light and love for this upcoming week. I know you have the strength and the courage to go within. Not always easy to do, but you can do it. The answers are all there. They're waiting for you if you just dig inside to find them. So find some quiet this week and go a-digging. From my heart and soul to yours, have an amazing week.